Sheikh, I yesterday called and I told you about my problem that I have a child who is in Pakistan uh, to a school which we admitted to her saying, thinking that there is no music there and there will be no arts classes. Mm. Now we get to find out that in her classes, in the regular English and science classes, they do play some videos which have background music in them. Now, my husband and I are at uh, at a, con- a conflict here. I want to remove her and he says it's too early to remove her and he's not in the favor of. So now when I send her to school, knowing that it's not wrong and everything, am I committing shirk of obedience? Because no, I'm uh, you're like- No, you're not um, committing shirk, Amatullah. Your question was asked thoroughly, was, was answered thoroughly yesterday. Any of the major sins you commit, they do not take you out of the fold of Islam. I quoted many a hadith. Only a person who dismisses the command of Allah or the prohibition of Allah, he says, I don't believe so. He becomes, he, he chooses to challenge Allah in his judgment. But I give many examples. Even a person at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu he used to drink wine and he was punished. But he's a Sahabi. Ma'is committed adultery and he's a Sahabi. And you know why I put emphasis on the answer of your question yesterday and today as well? Because this is very dangerous. This is the thought of the Mu'tazila and the Khawarij. This is their belief that if you commit the sin, a major sin, you're out of the fold of Islam and you will abide eternally in hellfire. That is not true. And it is not permissible to believe so. On a side note, for you and your husband, a school which introduces itself as an Islamic school is a school which I will be more than happy to pay to put my kids in it. A secular school who do not mind, they want to become Americanized, they want to become international school, they follow the standard, there is no haram and halal. You know, that means when it comes to Halloween, they celebrate. The, the rest of the uh, Valentine, every celebration they celebrate. It's not only one thing. So from the beginning, if you say it's too early, no. Sit with the principal. Sit with the administration. Do you guys do this and this and that? Do you have a place to offer the prayer? Do you break so that the children can attend the prayer? Do you teach Quran and Arabic? Yes, alhamdulillah. No, good luck. Good luck. Put your money where it is worth. 